Okay, so let's begin with knowing this basic information. Now, in inequality, we are dealing with greater than, less than, and that other. All right, and this is a sign of greater than. This is a sign of less than. Now, this sign stands for greater than or equal to, whereas this sign stands for less than or equal to. Okay, now having known this, let's look at this typical example, this typical problem, and um, solve it. We solve it and we present our values on a number line. All right, very, very important. Let me bring the question. Okay, now let's look at this problem we have here. It says x is an integer such that value from negative 4 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. Find all the possible values of x. Okay, now firstly, you have to be able to interpret inequalities. Okay, that's the first place to start with. Now, minus 4 is less than x basically means that x is greater than minus 4. Whereas this one, x is less than or equals to 3, means that x is less than or equal to 3. Alright, so that's what it means here. Yeah x is greater than negative 4 here x is less than or equal to 3 okay now having known this to so get the integer such that the values of x ranges from negative 4 to 3 having known that this one here stands for x being greater than negative 4 so the values the integers or the values the possible values of x now would be values from negative 3 to 3. So we're going to have it to be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. All right, so this will be the possible values of x ranging from negative 4 to 3. If you interpret this inequality here, minus 4 less than x less than equal to 3. This one here will give us the compass to start with, since what it means here is that x is greater than negative 3, negative 4, sorry, that means negative 3 is greater than negative 4, so we are going to start with negative 3, and not start with negative 4, now this being this question, we have something like this sign, let's say the question is in such a way that minus 4 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 3, okay, now, had it been the question came in this format, now this would have been that x is greater than or equals negative 4. So we would have started with minus 4 to represent the possible values of x. Okay. But since we are not having that sign here, okay, so this would be the correct expression for this guy. The, the possible values of x. Okay, now to represent this um a number line is going to give us something like this is our midpoint, these are negative three, negative two, negative one. Okay, these are one, two, three, let's stop at four here. Now to represent this, so let's put minus four here. Okay, very important. So this will be the range of this inequality. We have it to be let me I want to exp explain something here. Yeah, so let me write this negative for here. So it will be something like this. Okay. So and the value to three. Okay. Alright, so this is basically how you can present this. Now take note that when you get to you're going to shed this region. Now this shaded region. In the case that here we have less than or equal to 3. X is less than or equal to what, 3. But when there is no less than or equal to, you don't need to shade. It's when you have something like less than or equal to or greater than or equal to that you have to shade a particular region. Okay, on the number line. Alright, so that's it for this question. This is basically how you can solve it for a question. Now let's write this and look at another example. Okay, now let's say we are giving this problem on inequality we have something like 6x plus 7 is greater than x plus 22 now i have to solve this 
the right equation okay now to solve this you call it like terms so the letter terms come together and number term come together so this x recorded by equality sign change negative this cell recorded by equality sign change negative so then you have 6x minus x is greater than 22 minus 7. okay so when you simplify it you need to have 5x is greater than 2 22 minus 7 equals 15. all right so make egg the solid formula by both side by 5. so our x will be greater than 3. Okay, so that will be the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. Now, note that when a negative number, when you divide by a negative number, rather, you're going to change the equality sign. Okay? I'm going to show you in this next example we have now. Let's wipe this. Okay. What if you are giving this example? We have 9 minus 2x is greater than 15. Okay? So to solve this, minus 2x will be greater than 15, call it like times plus, okay, minus 9. You know, this plus 9, cause by equality sign, change to negative. All right, so we're going to have minus 2x greater than 15 minus 9 is going to give us 6. Okay, now divide both sides by negative 2. When you divide both sides by negative 2 to make s the solid formula, all right, so our results is into the negative 3. So our x, since we divided with negative number, this inequality sign here will change the opposite side. x will be less than negative 3. All right, so this will be the answer to this question. Very, very important, guys. So this is the kind of question we give you to check if you apply this rule. So take note of this.